from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of a new era in database management. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back, I'm Stu Miniman and we're covering Nutanix's new era database launch. Of course, we had to just had a conversation with uh, Monica and Bala talking about era 2.0. And to dig into it a little bit further, we, we have uh, some Nutanix guests as well as uh, one of their close partners. So uh, going across uh, the, the panel, first of all, happy to welcome to the program, uh, Thenu Kidapa. She is the GSI strategy and go to market with Nutanix. Sitting in the middle chair, we have Anand Akila, who's product marketing leader with Nutanix. And then from HCL, happy to welcome to the program, Tej Singh, who is the senior vice president with HCL Technologies, as I mentioned. All three of you, thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here. Great. Uh, Thanu, why, why don't we start with you? you? You handle the relationship between Nutanix and HCL. As I said, some exciting announcements, you know, database services. Help us understand how a partner like HCL uh, takes the, the technology and what will help bring it to market. Let me start by thanking you, Stu, for this opportunity. Uh, HCL is a very significant partner for Nutanix, and we've had this partnership for a long time now. It's one of our longest standing uh, partnerships. Uh, over the five years, we've closed over 100 accounts across all three theaters, trained professionals, both on the Nutanix side and the HCL side and build the 360 relationship so we can deliver the best experience around solutions to our partners. In the very recent announcement, we are looking to build a database as a service offering with HCL. We want to leverage our intelligent technology that allows us to simplify op and uh, increase operating efficiency and couple it with HCL's ability to offer world-class services and it's a scale to reach the go-to-market needs needed, right? We're very confident that this solution is going to drive significant incremental business for both our companies. Excellent, uh, Tej, we'd, we'd love to hear from your standpoint, uh, what is it that, that excites you? We, we, we know uh, HCL uh, knows the data space uh, real well, so uh, we would th think you, you've got some customers that are uh, looking to take advantage of some of these new offerings. Yeah. So if you look at uh, where the focus has been so far, most of the focus is on taking applications to cloud and moving them from VM to probably containers. Uh, one of the most, uh, uh, I, I won't say uh, neglected, but the space that needs to change now is the entire database space. And if you look at how customers are managing databases today, they have uh, taken hardware on a CAPEX model, they have the operating system and the database licenses on an ELM model from the OEMs. And then they have uh, teams which are siloed depending upon the database technology uh, that is uh, there in the environment and managing that. I think that whole model is, 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 is has to change, uh, enabling customers uh, to transform and uh, accelerate their digital uh, transformation journey. And that is where our offering of database as a service uh, is, is very unique because it offers a full stack of services, which includes right from hardware and all the way to operations on a completely utility model powered by the Nutanix era. Yeah, uh, it might make sense mm -hmm. if you can give us a little bit of a broader context uh, for your users, some of the data that you have uh, around this offering. Yeah, you know, uh, at the end effect, all the solutions, our joint solutions, our customers, uh, they are trying to deliver the best end user experience, right? That's at the heart of it, what they're trying to do. I'll give you a couple of customer examples. For example, uh, RBL Bank in India, you know, they uh, deployed their database solutions and applications in Nutanix, got uh, uh, six times faster application uh, response. That means like they, it used to take like 180 seconds uh, to uh, log in into the application and now it's, uh, uh, 30 seconds, 30, uh, six times faster. Another example I could give, uh, I can give many examples, but one, this one is really interesting, uh, Delaware Valley Community Health. You know, at the time of COVID, they went uh, remote, they started working from home and they had uh, medical sy uh, systems applications, EMR, electronic medical record applications. And it used to take, even before they were working from uh, home, it used to take like 171 seconds to log in into medical systems before they could, uh, you know, talk to uh, their patients and look at their 
uh, you know, health results and everything. And that from 171 seconds, it went to 19 seconds. So these are some of the values that customers are seeing uh, when it comes to delivering the end user experience to their customers. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen. Oh, please, Tej, go ahead. Yeah, and I'll just add to what Venu said that it's also the ability to have self service with dynamic provisioning capability mm -hmm. that uh, really brings the value uh, to, the, to the IT teams and to the application teams who are consuming these services. So we have uh, cases where customers were waiting for about a week, 10 days for the environments to be provisioned to them. And now it's a matter of seconds or minutes where they can have a full-fledged environment leading to developer productivity. And that also really adds the, the whole uh, acceleration that we just spoke about. Yeah, we, we've absolutely seen such a transformation in database. Uh, for, for the longest time, it was you know a database. It didn't change too much. That's what everything run on. Now there's a lot of flexibility. Open source is a big piece of what's going on there. Hey, I'd like to come back to you and you know, Thano, I know you're going to want to chime in here. <laughs> you know, HCL doesn't just you know take this off the shelf and you know resell it. Help us understand you know what is unique about the offering uh, that that HCL brings to market uh, with, with Nutanix. Sure. Right. So uh, one is that we have standardized reference architectures, which really accelerate the time to consume the, the, the offering. We are not building anything from, from, from grounds up. Uh, the Nutanix is also part of our velocity framework, which helps customers deploy software-defined infrastructure as, the, as a foundation element for their, for their private cloud. Now, uh, what is unique uh, is also the ability to uh, not only provide operations on different databases that are there in the environment on a completely utility model, but also help customers uh, you know, uh, move to cloud and adopt the database, cloud native databases and then manage the whole show seamlessly using, using the, the, the platform. And that really, uh, you know, if you look at the, the trend that is there, there's a short term uh, impact and there's a long term impact uh, of transformation in the short term, there's hardly any industry which is not touched by, uh, by COVID. And most of our customers are either looking at cost out initiatives or are looking at a platform which will help them innovate uh, or find new business model to, to sail through. In the long term, we, we strongly believe that the customers will be in a hybrid multi-cloud world where they will still have the heritage and, uh, environments, the Oracle and the SQLs, and a lot of uh, cloud native databases will also start coming into picture. Now, how do you manage this whole show seamlessly is what going to be the next challenge for, for most of the customers. And that's where we come in along with Nutanix to solve the problem. Well, very simply put, right? We have different categories of customers. One of them prefers to buy the ingredient and make their own meal. And some really large customers and global customers prefer to buy the meal and pay for it on an as consumed basis. What HCL does is take ERA, which simplifies a lot of the database operations, puts it into a full stack solution and gives the customer the full stack solution. Everything from assessing their environment to deploying, to making sure that the design is accurate. And then of course, the day end through day two through end uh, operation and environment. Right? So literally the customer can now out offload any of their data center uh, or database management and operation to HCL from an IT perspective and uh, rest assured run their projects through HCL. So HCL becomes their extended arm. The beauty of it is also that working with HCL, we're now able to offer the entire solution on a pay as you go model or pay as you use model, which is very relevant to the existing times where everybody is trying to cut their CapEx costs and, and optimize on their utilizations. Well, great, great to hear about that. Um, you mentioned uh, that, that you, this partnership has been for many years, so I know you've got plenty of joint customers. Uh, anything specifically you can, can, can share about these new offerings? Uh, Anand, I know you've got a lot of the customer stories there. Maybe you can start. and. Would love for you yeah. to, uh, the rest of you to. Talk yeah, about. I'll, I'll, I'll start with uh, you know, like I talked about a couple of customers, but recently I'm really excited about, and this is something that we are uh, announcing today as well. A study that we did with Forrester called uh, Forrester TEI study, which is uh, what it uh, it means total economic impact study, and what they do is that they talk with customers, uh, interviewed them, four of them, and uh, based on their experience. 
uh, you know, what they observed, what kind of benefit they got, what challenges they had, what were the costs. They built an economic model. And based on that economic model, they found that uh, customers were able, all of them were able to get their payback within six months. So it, uh, Bala talked about it earlier that, you know, like all the great experience, all the great value that we offer, but at a very, very good cost. So six, less than six months payback was huge. And the ROI for the three years period, and again, this is uh, a model based on four uh, enterprises, was uh, 290, 100%, so almost like uh, three times uh, more. So whatever they invested, I think on an average day, the cost was 2.3 million and the benefit was 9 million or so. So huge value customers have uh, observed already. And with this new launch, I be believe that it will just go to the next level. All the things about provisioning, uh, copy data, saving the, the storage, all of that adds to the ROI that I'm talking about. And our joint customers with HCL or otherwise, uh, who are customers who are running uh, their applications, their business critical applications on Nutanix platform managed by ERA, and ERA is built out of a bunch of uh, best practices that over time that we have done. I talked about trust and performance earlier, and a lot of the performance comes from fine tuning. You do that, like a lot of tuning and to get to a right kind of performance. Uh, ERA comes with that, those best practices. So when you're provisioning an application, you know, it gives you, you don't have to do all that tuning. So that's the value customers are experiencing. And I'm really excited about the joint customers uh, what they could uh, uh, experience and benefit out of uh, the new uh, expanded solution. Great, uh, Te Tejer, uh, any other uh, customer examples that you'd like to share? Well, we've yeah, had so a we lot of, go ahead, Paige. No, no, it's okay, go ahead. No, I was just saying that we've had a lot of success with uh, HCL across the board, anywhere from data center modernization to uh, VDI. Uh, we had a very large manufacturing company in America where we partnered together. They have a huge number of sub brands. We partnered together to go evaluate their environment and then also even upgrade that SAP infrastructure. With databases, it's a relatively new offering we're announcing today, but we are leveraging the expertise that HCL has in the market uh, to go and uh, to go dive deeper into that market with HCL. Um, so I will leave it to Tej to give us the HCL examples. So uh, one thing that is happening is uh, the very definition of infrastructure and infrastructure operation itself is changing. So a couple of years ago, for many of our customers, it was about operating system management, hardware management, network management. And over the years, uh, the, the concept that we are going back to customer is about platform operations. That means everything to do with uh, application operations downward is, is going to be uh, done by one integrated unit. Now with Nutanix, we can, we can really bring a lot of change uh, and we are bringing a lot of change in, our, in the operations model for, for a lot of our large customers. Where earlier you had siloed teams around compute, network storage, um, operating system databases, uh, both at the level two and level three, and you had a level one which was basically command center. Now we are saying is that with the artificial intelligence and machine learning driven ops, you can practically eliminate the, the need for command center on the level two layer because the platform enables you to, to uh, be multi-skilled. You need not have siloed engineers looking after databases separately and, and operating systems separately. You can have the same set of people who are cross-trained, multi-skilled, looking at the entire state. And at level three, you may want to keep um, uh, people who are uh, deep into databases as a separate team than from people who are managing the Nutanix platform, which is a combination of compute, storage, and, 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 and the SDN. So that's the change that we are bringing to a lot of our customers who are going about uh, infrastructure platform modernization uh, as, they, as they adopt public cloud or hybrid clouds. Well, I, I think you really articulated well that modernization journey. We've seen so many companies going through. Uh, the, the thing I've been saying with Nutanix for years is uh, modernize the platform, then you can modernize everything that runs on top of it, all the applications. Uh, and of course, the database is a major piece of this. Uh, Anand, that brings up a, a, a point I want to get uh, your, your take on. Uh, we haven't talked yet about developers. Uh, you know, the DevOps right. trend, uh, something we've seen, uh, you know, huge growth uh, for, for a number of years. So what does this mean for the developers? Is this something that, you know, mostly the infrastructure team's going to handle or how do you bridge that gap to the people that really are, you know, building and uh, building, building the apps? 
Yeah, in, uh, in this digital world, you know, the cycle time from idea to production, they, everyone is trying to reduce that. What that means is that things are moving left. People are trying to develop and test early in the life cycle uh, when it is uh, easy to find a problem and easy to and cheaper to fix, right? So for that, you need uh, your application environment, uh, your application and database uh, available to test and develop in, uh, uh, you know, like in volume. And that's where database as a service era helps developers and DevOps professionals to provision the whole infrastructure for testing and in volume in, in hundreds and thousands of them at the same time without uh, you know, worrying about the storage back, back end, how much storage it is consuming. So it, is, it helps developers to, uh, to really expedite their development and testing life, uh, life cycle, ultimately resulting in uh, a, excellent end user experience. Yeah, absolutely. We, we know uh, just moving faster, being able to respond to the business, so critically important. Uh, Thenu, Tej, I want to let you have the final word to uh, talk about the partnership and what should we should expect uh, you know, in, in the coming months and quarters. So uh, I'll go first and then Venu can and come in. Uh, HCL and, and Nutanix share, uh, you know, share the same values where we believe that we need to provide uh, a very innovative platform for our customers to accelerate their digital transformation journey, no matter what it is, right? Uh, we share common values and we, we have a 360 degree relationship which started way back in 2015, and we have come a long way since then. Uh, HCL also does engineering services for, for Nutanix, and we uh, have close to about 850 odd plus people who are trained and certified on Nutanix solutions, providing managed services to our customers. Uh, Nutanix is also part of our software-defined infrastructure portfolio, and we are taking it to our customers as part of our entire infrastructure platform modernization that I spoke about earlier. Uh, the recent announcement of uh, Nutanix clusters uh, running on AWS, I think is a significant announcement, and it will provide a lot of options to our customers. And as an SI, uh, you know, we are able to bring a lot of value to our customers who are looking at adopting cloud. Uh, the database as a service offering, I think uh, we are very excited about it. I, I think uh, we have about 300 plus customers and many of them are still stuck with the way they are managing databases uh, the old way and, and we can bring in a lot of value to those customers, whether it is about reducing costs or, or increasing agility or helping them modernize the platform and, and adopt uh, hybrid multi-clouds. Uh, business critical apps are growing, are still growing, and data is pretty much gold in these scenarios, right? It's, it's doubling every two years, if not more, with every transaction being remote today. With HCL, we actually look forward to addressing that market and optimizing the environment for our customers. Both of our companies believe in partnership, trust, and a customer-first mindset. And when you have that belief, Trust comes with delivering the best experience to our customers. So we're looking forward to this partnership and we're looking forward to growing our joint revenue and modernizing our customers' platforms with this offering. Well, I want to thank all three of you for, for sharing uh, the, the exciting news. Absolutely, it looks like a strong partnership, lots of potential there for the future. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Wonderful. All right, I want to thank the audience for watching uh, this long with Nutanix, the new era in database management. Uh, personally, a big thank you to the Nutanix community. It's been a pleasure uh, being able to host these interviews with Nutanix uh, for, for many years. So I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you as always for watching theCUBE.